Okay, hello once again. So in the previous video I have explained say from application concepts. So in this video we will install the application, make initial configuration and check its configuration parameters. So I have already downloaded MCI file, so let's install 64-bit version. Okay, let's start. <coughs> So we will use the default folder, so let's install. Ok, it's installed, so let's start it. So this is the initial configuration window, so here you need to specify your password this password will be your encryption key and you also need to specify the names of the special safe room notebooks as you remember from the previous video safe room uses three notebooks to encrypt and decrypt notes so you can specify any name you want but I will be using the default names and let's specify the password the safe room Safe from doesn't check your password strength. The only requirement is the password should be eight character, minimum eight characters. So you sh you should consider the password yourself. Okay, so let's start the application. We see the warning. Okay. So here is the application, so it's very simple. We have four tabs. The first tab is logs, where you can see the application activity. Second tab is options, where you can configure encryption and decryption parameters. For example, here you can specify the encryption cycle timer. Currently it's one minute, so it means that encryption procedure will be run every one minute. Here you can specify the list of tags that will be added to your encrypted notes the texts are specify are separated by comma so you can specify up to five texts if you specify more the application will use the first five and here display notification so if we enable this option here we can see more informative notification about the encryption procedure and also the same thing is oh you see this is notification and also you can configure decryption parameters you can configure decryption cycle the text list of text that will be added to your decrypted notes and also display notification and also here you can specify decryption label the decryption label is added to the decrypted notes title so for example if you have the encrypted note with the title like this so after decryption it will be like this so here our encryption label we have the status status tab where you can see the encryption and decryption cycle current status we can see the its current status is running last encryption and next encryption we can stop and we can also start the encryption and decryption procedures immediately for example let's encrypt so you see that procedure started and the last step is test so this step is used to check the no if the note was properly encrypted so for example if you have problems decrypting your encrypted notes so you can check the note using this tab so here you need to specify the notes title click import the application will import the content of the encrypted note and then you can click check note and the system will display if the note is properly or improperly encrypted so basically this is it so thanks for watching in the next video we will show how the encryption and decryption how the application does the real encryption and decryption thanks for watching bye